Hi, I'm Jesse Varsalone. I'm a associate professor at University of Maryland Global Campus. And in this lesson, I'll be demonstrating cracking Cisco type five and type seven passwords. So in this particular uh, lesson, I won't use a real router or a switch, but I could do that in the future. I'm gonna go ahead and use Packet Tracer. I'm adding in a router. I'll fast forward time. Then I'll go to the command line. As you can see, the font is nice so you, everyone can see uh, what I'm typing. I'll just click no here, enter. All right, now the first thing I'm in user mode, so I need to type en to get into enable mode. Then I need to type config t to go into global configuration mode. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to type line vty01 and now I'm going to type login and then it's going to yell at me and say set a password. Okay, so we'll start with a password of Cisco. All right, now I'm going to type do wr. That actually allows you to save your configuration from where you are. And then I'm gonna do do show run, which actually shows you the um, password in clear text. So that's not very good, right? So now I'm gonna go back one line and so I can tab complete my command and I'm gonna type service password dash encryption. Okay, then I'm gonna do do wr to save my configuration and then do show run. I can just up and all right. And now you see my password is encrypted. This is a very weak encryption algorithm, but nonetheless, it is one. Now, if I wanna crack that, you see the seven in front of there? That's because it's a type seven password. That's all I need to do is open up my friend Google Right, that's how we solve most of the, the things. And I'll type crack Cisco type seven password. All right, I'll take the first website that comes to me. Oh, there was one, I, I like this one better, IFM. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna click crack password and there's the password. It was that easy, unbelievable, right? Okay, so now, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a slightly harder password. So I'll go back into line BTY01. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, set a harder password. And this password's going to be Cisco1, Cisco2, Cisco3. So much longer, right? I'll do a do WR to save my configuration and a do show run to show you what it looks like and see how much longer it is. So you would think a longer password, more secure. Some numbers that time, not really. Okay, this is a very weak encryption algorithm. And you know, even if I use special characters, numbers, uppercase, lowercase, it's just a weak algorithm. That's the type seven. So it shouldn't be used. So the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna look at the type five passwords do that, I'm going to type uh, exit to get out of the configuration for the line terminal. And then I'm going to type enable secret. And then I'm going to type, okay, we already did Cisco. I'll just do a color, blue. And then when I do do WR and do show run, you're actually going to see this. So um, this uh, right here is a salted password. You see that dollar sign one at the beginning? It's salted, so what that means, if you're using real, a real Cisco router and there are actually two people that use the same password, that the whole password hash will be different. However, if you're following along with Packet Tracer, Packet Tracer is not quite, it's just emulation. So, I mean, it's just simulation. So it's not really going to uh, give you what you would really see. So if you had two routers in a production environment, 
both with the same password, you'd see different hashes. That's what I've experienced. So anyway, uh, that's because of the salting. So anyway, I'm going to copy that. And um, you, you, cracking a type 5 password because of the different salts is a little tougher. So I'm going to use a different tool. I'm going to use Kane. And I have that tool. You can download it for free. In Kane here, you see I have a cracker tab. And I'm going to go to Cisco. Okay. So now, uh, and that's an MD5 hash. I'm going to right click and go to add to list. Insert. Remember the password was blue. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a dictionary attack. Now, um, this is not a Windows password hash, so uh, it's going to take longer. I have to reset my file position to zero. Well, I think I just can say reset init initial file position. Okay, there it starts at the beginning now. And I'm just going to do it as is for this demonstration. And basically, it's just going to go one at a time through the password list. As you can see, it's on A. It seems fast, but it's not really. Okay, so there's the password blue. So, so to, to kind of demonstrate this, check this out on this next one here. I'm going to do enable secret blue blue. Do WR, do show run. Okay, now notice a different hash. Now this time, we're going to copy this. Once again, we need to uh, reset that file position. I'm going to click exit. I'm going to right click, add to list. I'm going to put this hash in. And because it's a blue, blue, now keep in mind, if I have all these checked, it's going to take a long time. I'm going to do double. So now we're going to go ahead and click start. Okay, there's your password of blue blue. So in this video, I demonstrated how to crack both a Cisco type seven password, which is very easy to crack, as well as a Cisco type five password. Thank you for watching and come back and watch more of our videos.